Rabbit and Rose. I am Annie and I am so happy that you are here. Last On last week's video, I show you how you can make your very own notebooks. I show you how to put them together and I also show you or gave you some ideas on how to decorate them. Like we made this one that I really like. It's got a bow over here and in the inside it's got pockets. One pocket here in the front and in the back it's got a pocket here as well. We also made, these are only two of the ones that we made. These are my favorite ones. But this one is black and white and it's got really cute pictures and it's just super, super simple and so easy to make. So now that we know how to make regular rectangular notebooks, we are gonna get even more creative and we're gonna make them in shapes. So if you like to know how, or if you want to see the ideas that I want to show you and the little inspiration that I like to throw your way, then stick around. But before we do that, I would like to say, if you are subscribed to Rabbit and Rose, thank you so much, know that I have you right here in my heart and I love you so much. And if you are not, then why not subscribe? So, go and gather all of your art supplies and let's get started. The first notebook that I'm going to show you is the easiest. I first chose an image that I liked. I found this one on Pinterest and I saved it to my computer. Then I opened it in Microsoft Word. I cropped it just to get rid of the things that I didn't want like that word magical. I made a copy of the image and the copy I flipped it so I had a mirror image of the original. Um, so if you see the unicorns are facing opposite directions. You only have to do a mirror image of your picture if your if the image that you selected is not symmetrical like mine if yours is completely symmetrical then you can skip this step i printed the image folded in half and then i just cut the shape of the unicorn Using the cover of the book that I just finished cutting, I traced the outline of the unicorn onto my folded pieces of paper and I cut them the same way as I did with the cover. Because you have to cut several pieces of paper, I suggest that you divide them into groups so you don't have to cut through a bunch of pieces of paper all at once. Once you have finished cutting all of your pieces of paper, just put them inside of your cover and finish it up how we learned in the last video. Isn't it so cute? This is awesome because you can make little notebooks of anything that you want. This next one I love and it is so easy and so so fancy. <laughs> I cut the pages and the cover in the shape of a diamond and I also cut the little shapes that go inside. I cut them off out of iridescent or holographic paper. I found this paper in the gift wrapping section. Is that kind of like thin paper that is used to stuff inside of gift bags. I just cut them and glue them in place and that is it. Look how sparkly it is, and I love how it has the rainbow inside. Speaking about rainbows, this next little notebook is a rainbow with some clouds. And I already cut the pages and the cover just like the times before, and I'm gonna use some glitter in different colors. And you already know the old trick, spread some glue, sprinkle the glitter, shake off the excess, and do the same thing with all the other colors. You already know that. 
And then for the clouds, I use this polyester fiber thing that is used to stuff plushies with. If you don't have that, you can use cotton balls. I'm sure that's going to look super cute with cotton balls. But I had these and it's really fluffy, so I wanted to try it. So I just cut little pieces of that and I glue it on top of where the cloud should be. I trim them just a little bit and that is it. Look how fluffy they look. And the sparkly rainbow makes it extra magical. For this next one, I drew a big circle in a piece of watercolor paper and I'm gonna attempt to paint a watercolor because I think it's perfect for summer and I love the colors that water watermelons have. Did I say watercolor? I painted a watermelon at watercolor. I think I made those two before. But anyways, I love the colors of watermelon because it's like a very intense reddish pink. So here I'm just mixing a bunch of different shades of pink and red, just colors of that sim similar hue. And I started in the center and then I worked my way out through the green part. I did left a little section of white because watermelons have a little white between the green and the pinkish. Once it was dry, I went back and I added the seeds, just making them look like very long teardrops. And that's it. That is all for the painting. So the rest is what you already know how to do. Cut the pages, cut them the same shape as the cover. For this one, I decided to make the colors. Oh, I decided to make the pages pink so they will go with the theme of the watermelon. And I think it looks very cute. What do you think? So these are the four little ideas that I had to share with you. I love them because they are very different. They are not your typical rectangular notebook. You can make them in any shape that you like and you can decorate them in so many different ways. I just gave you a few ideas. I hope you love them. So which one was your favorite? I have them over here. Oh, floppy. Look how sparkly they are. This one and uh, the rainbow on this one. Oh, it is so beautiful. So which one did you like the most? I like them all. They're all so different, different mediums, super easy. Painting, gluing, cutting, printing is just so easy and there's so many ways that you can decorate your own. So I hope I inspire you a little bit and you can get creative and make your very own beautiful notebooks. Thank you again for being here. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. If you do, this kiss is for you. We will see you next week.